Hello guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be going over how to install Minecraft and the basics of Minecraft in today's YouTube video. This is going to be part of a series on my channel that I just started, which is going to go over everything that you need to know about Minecraft. Now let's get into it. First up is launch any Google browser that you have or own, doesn't matter, it could be Brave, Google, Firefox, Opera, GX, doesn't matter, and look up minecraft.net.com is something separate, it is a weird, very weird website for like coal or mining or something like that, and it's not what we need. So make sure you go to minecraft.net or just look it up. Alright, so now that you are on Minecraft.net, you want to skip Minecraft, and if you go to compare platforms, you can see what each platform offers and their different features, but that's not what we're going over right now. So, after you've taken a look at that, if you want to take a look at that, you want to go to Computer, and you want to go to Java Edition, because uh, Bedrock Edition is the version that Xbox and PS4 connects to and Nintendo Switch and all that jazz. And then you want to go ahead and buy Minecraft. Now, if you're not buying Minecraft, the other way is by redeeming Minecraft. So if you get a gift card code for Minecraft that somebody gives you or whatnot, then you can redeem the code. You can also redeem dungeons, skins, and a bunch of other stuff. All right. So now that we've taken over that, now once Minecraft is actually installed, you want to go ahead and either search up Minecraft Launcher that's where you launch Minecraft from, or you just want to click it on your desktop. So go ahead and launch it. So yes, it is launched here. I'll just give you a quick overview. We have our account that says help, log out, manage accounts, everything there. Then we have the news, which goes over Minecraft news, Minecraft Shop Edition, and Dungeons, which is where you can install Minecraft Dungeons if you buy the game. And then the Java Edition, we have the news as well. This is a quick access to any version you have, whether it's Mod, Optifine, Forge, or Snapshot, or just a different version in general. And you can just press play to start it up. Now the installation tab is also where they are. You can also press play from the installation tab, and also where you create installations. So here I'm just typing in a random name, putting in an icon or creating a custom icon by clicking that button. Then we have a version which allows us to select any version in the game, modded, anything that you install. No hacks though. Everything's installed, you can just select the version. And then resolution, that's all done by default when you launch Minecraft. And there's some more options, but you don't have to worry about that. Then you press create. I'm not going to here because I already have a bunch of versions. And then if we uncheck snapshots, you can see that snapshots don't pop up. So this is just a good way to organize all of your installations and keep everything nice and clean. So if you go back now, I can recheck it and now all the snapshots are back. Patch notes is where you can see all the updates on every single version and everything new that is coming out. It is quite helpful and you can also play these by selecting the snapshots in the installation tab. I go to and then there's also the skins here where I will be showing you guys how to do this in another episode the skin part is kind of important all right and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and launch the way to snapshot of Java edition and I will be right back all right guys so as you can see we have minecraft 1.8.9 launched I couldn't launch 1.17 while recording because of some issues with that version so I'm just going to be showing you 1.8.9 because it will run the smoothest. Uh, the only difference between the two versions is that the accessibility settings, there's a shortcut to it right here, but you can always access it in any other version in the inside of the options menu. So let's just go over everything real quick. Click game, that makes sense. Language, this page allows you to select your languages and everything with that. You can like custom stuff with packs, you can enable them here. Options, FOV, changes like your distance, like if the amount that you can see. Realm notification, that is for Minecraft Realms, which does not pop up here because this is an older version, but what Realms are is a paid subscription service by Minecraft which runs servers. And 
uh, if you want to pay for servers instead of using a bunch of free alter alternatives, then you can use that. Skin customization, this allows you to toggle on between different stuff with skins. Ignore this setting, that's with Optifine. I'll go over all this in a later episode. Super secret settings, this is only for all the older versions of Minecraft. And they're like a random shader pack, so just like distort the world and stuff for fun. Music and sounds, that's pretty obvious. Broadcasting settings, you're able to link your Twitch account to it and stream Twitch through Minecraft. Sadly, there's nothing for YouTube that I love. Then uh, video settings, where you can customize a bunch of your settings. Some of these tabs you guys won't see, like shaders or I think performance or animations because I have Optifine. I would go over that in a later video. But it's just the basics like render distance, how far you can see. This should be on 12. And like your FPS and everything else. And, and then the next tab is controls. This is where you're able to customize a bunch of different controls and whatnot. And just have like a bunch of different stuff here set up. Like if you want to toggle between F5 mode just by pressing F instead, you have the freedom to do so. Language, we just went over that. Snap uh, chat settings, so we can customize chat with the colors, levelings, everything else, the opacity of it, and just a few more features. I would keep this thing off just to make sure that you don't get spammed with stuff, but that's only if you have mods enabled. Resource packs this is where you'll customize and add your own resource packs or just add resource packs you find on websites like Planet Minecraft. Those things are pretty easy to come by. And I'll make a separate video on those. And snooper settings. Uh, this isn't in the old, newer versions or some of these, but this is just uh, some settings that have to do with one of my mods. So if you have mods Forge enabled, then you'll have this tab. And this tab just goes over and shows all your mods. I will ignore the replay viewer because that's another mod that's not on today's video. A single player multiplayer. Multiplayer allows you to access all your favorite servers. Just remember that if you are in 1.8.9, you have to be in a 1.8.9 server, or if you're in a 1.16, you have to be in a 1.16 server, unless you're on a server like Hypixel, which allows 1.8 to 1.16 on it. And then single player, pretty basics. There's a bunch more settings in the uh, in the new versions of Minecraft, like data packs and whatnot, that I will go over later when the time comes. And so yeah, you can just create a new world here, change the world type, and customize different stuff. You can play a lot, play around with this. This uses whether uh, structures generate cheats. So if you want to have game mode commands and then chess, and that's practically it. Now, once you have that done, you can just load up your favorite server or play single player, and you're on. See. You guys, everything's working just fine. I'm on high pixel. Hey! Alright, one more thing, real quick. How to join servers and delete them. So, uh, how to delete a server. Pretty simple, you just find a server you don't want, and then you delete by clicking on it. If you want to add a server, you need to direct connect, where you just hit type in a server address and it'll go like that. Or you find this server name, you just create a random name for the server in like Borowski or whatever and then the actual IP which you can find on the server list is like Hypixel is like Hypixel.it or something I don't remember and then server resource packs is if the server has packs then it'll either prompt you by giving you saying like oh do you want to enable the resource pack it'll force you to have it or you can disable it entirely all right that is pretty much it for tutorial one of this series next tutorial i'll be going over skins and how to create skins different customizations and everything else with that and we'll get on from there thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit that like button i'll see you guys all next time